Hello again, everyone. I'm here with another what's in my pen case video. So this particular pen case is a three pen case from Gale and Leather in their crazy horse gray color. And it's very nice and compact. I wouldn't put super big pens in here, but these that I have in here fit perfectly. And I have a little collection of three and I'm hoping not to get any more of these. This is probably gonna be my entire collection of what these are, which is Diplomat Arrows. So I've always really liked these Diplomat Arrows. I'm gonna take them out and show you which ones I have here. And you've probably, if you've seen some of my prior videos, you've probably seen two of these before. This one is brand new or fairly new to me. It is the flame version, which is uh, actually hand flamed over a flame and then they put a coating over it to preserve the uh, patina that they've made with the flame. It's really, really beautiful. It's way heavier <laughs> than the regular model. Um, and it's, uh, it's just really, really beautiful. When I got it, I was so, so impressed. I mean, uh, the look of a pen is another thing that I've probably evolved to buy some pens just because of the way they look. Uh, this is probably one of those. Um, I got a really good deal on it. I, I had, I'm, I'm kind of the deal hunter, uh, as some of you probably already know, but, um, this was like an on sale thing, a coupon on sale, you know, that, that kind of thing. Otherwise, normally they're fairly expensive and I, I probably would not have bought it at full price, but I thought, oh, I have all these things together and uh, I'd, I'd been kind of eyeing this pen for a while. So I got it and it's beautiful. Like seriously, if you are into this kind of style, um, it's, it's worth it in my opinion, and, but it's quite a hefty pen. It's, it's quite a bit heavier. I don't have a scale here, so I could tell you it's at least twice as heavy as a normal diplomat arrow. And so then I have these two others. So this was the first one I got, which is just a plain old medium nibbed pen. I actually have some really dark ink in here that's getting a little nib creep, but this is just a plain old stainless steel nib with a medium, with a medium nib. And this is also a stainless steel nib in a fine. So that was another thing I did want to try a fine nib. Um, you know, it would be nice to have a gold nib of one of these, but they, as far as I know, they just use the gold Yovo nibs on their pens. And that's the same nibs that uh, Franklin Kristoff uses for their gold nibs. And I, I already have a size six and a size five gold nib. And I don't think it's going to necessarily add anything new to the writing experience by having one on this pen. So, um, so these are just regular dibs. This is a custom grind that I got from uh, Goulet Pens. They had a custom grind in uh, fine cursive italic and medium cursive italic, which is what this one is. And I really, really love this purple color. This deep purple is really up my alley. And I really like these three colors together because I think they really complement each other. And there's a little bit of purple in here that kind of plays off this purple. There's a little bit of gray in here that plays off this gray. And I think they really go nicely together as a little trio collection. So I am gonna test these for you. I have my fountain pen testing book off here to the side. This is my Galen notebook. I just had it open, so that's a little awkward there. But I will put a link to the video where um, I show the setup for this. And this paper is Nemesine paper. And I'm gonna do the cursive italic first. I just re-inked it after it being kind of dry for a while and I didn't clean it out. So we'll see, we'll see how well it works. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay. So let me get in even further so you can see a little bit better and make sure it's in frame. So these are all diplomat arrows. Diplomat arrows. And so this is, I'm just going to call it purple. The purple with a medium cursive italic from Goulet. I've actually forgotten the name of the nib grinder who did this. It's Gina, maybe it's Gina Solano, I want to say. Ooh, don't, don't hold me to that. But she does have her own website too where you can order from her. 
um, but they just she just did a special collaboration as as with some other nib grinders have done there. And then this ink is Pilot Hiroshizuku Yamabudo, which is one of my favorites, all time favorites. One of the earliest inks I purchased from this line of inks and it's one of my favorites. So the only problem, so you can, you can post these pens. I, I feel like they're pretty comfortable. This one is so heavy that I prefer not to post it. And it's really not practical for super long writing because of its weight. So, you know, in some ways it's kind of impractical, but it does write really well and I do like it. So this is the flame uh, with a fine steel nib. And then this color is diamine uh, blood orange, which is a lovely, lovely combination. I guess I should do, you know, the typical this ink in particular is just, it's a gorgeous ink. I love it. Okay. And I think my Yamabudo has gotten a little darker. I've had it for a while. <laughs> and, um, and like I said, I, I just filled this after it went dry and I had not cleaned it in a little while. So I wonder if that's also factoring into the darker nature of the, um, the ink plus it's a plus it's a um it's a wet nib so that might be it too and then this one i will post because it's lighter this one is um just the gray with a medium steel nib and this is probably my favorite uh plain nib of the two here but the fine is beautiful too and then this ink is kala Spectrolite. I've had a little bit of issues with this ink, but it seems to work pretty well in this pen. All right. It looks almost uh, black, but it's got sort of a grayish green tinge to it. So there you go. Those are these three lovely Diplomat arrows. They they actually write fairly similarly between the three, even though one's a cursive italic. And I think the difference is probably mainly in the feel of the writing between these three, but you, you can tell some differences. But I don't feel like I need any more of these arrows, but I do like having this little bit of variety. And I would say that they probably are, I mean, it's one of the, I would say it's one of my favorite steel nibbed pens just because the, the the nibs are tuned so well and they 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 write so smoothly um and the the pen itself is actually very nice it does have this um metal section on all of these but i don't feel like it's too slippery and i i really like the feel of it and uh both posted and unposted i find these comfortable except for the flame which is quite a bit heavier um, you know, you can, I'll put a link to each of these put down below, although I am, I don't think the cut, the cursive italic is available anymore, but I will put a link down below so that you can see the difference in weight between the flame and the other models. It is quite substantial. Um, and I think my hand would kind of hurt after long writing with this, but the pen is comfortable writing unposted. Um, but like I said, I, I probably, my hand would probably get tired for long, for long writing. And I actually have actually written with this for longer sessions and, um, it's okay, but my hand does get tired towards the end. So good to know if you're interested in the flame and didn't know about the weight difference between the normal arrows and that one, because I think the material is different. It might be steel, is it steel, might be steel. Um. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to put a link down below to them so you can check for yourself and see and see the specs on these. All right. Well, that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.